If you bought any guns from a Cabela's in Hammond, Indiana, you might want to pay attention to this video. So let's go ahead and talk about it. What's up, Wolverines? Welcome back to the channel. It is me, investigative journalist extraordinaire John Crump, and this is John Crump News, where we discuss 2A every day, and you can get all your 2A news fix right here. Go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe because it is engagement, and engagement is key to beating that pesky algorithm. I also write for a place called MLN.com, and this article comes from MLN.com. It is by one of my colleagues, Lee Williams. Lee Williams is also another investigative journalist over at MLN, and he found out some information about a case. The case is known as Gary Indiana vs. Glock, and I always say cases take a long time to get through the court system. This case is an exception to the amount of time it takes to get through the court system, not because it took a short amount of time, because this case has been going on for nearly 25 years. It was filed in 1999, and we're almost to 2024. The case involves Gary, Indiana, with the help of Brady suing places like Glock, Smith & Wesson, Beretta, High Point, and a bunch of gun shops, including Cabela's and Bass Pro Shops, over selling firearms. They are claiming that these places lose their protection under the PLCAA. The PLCAA is a federal law that's supposed to protect manufacturers and gun shops from being sued by anti-gun organizations such as Brady and anti-gun towns such as Gary, Indiana. Gary, Indiana is a shithole, and it really is. You can ask people that live there. They'll tell you it's a shithole. It actually has the highest crime rates in the country. It is so bad that if you drive through there, the police say do not stop at red lights because that's how dangerous it is. But let's get back to the lawsuit here. Brady United and Gary, Indiana have subpoenaed firearms records from a bunch of different gun stores in the area. The gun stores, including Cabela's, tried to get that squashed, but the judge refused to squash the subpoena, meaning that these gun stores legally have to supply the records, which is scary. In fact, Cabela's have turned over around 200,000 records, and they're going to turn over more because Bass Pro Shops is one of the other stores mentioned. So if you bought a gun around Gary, Indiana, the records are now with or will shortly be with Brady which is scary because Brady is not a friend of gun owners and now your records are public. Brady can do whatever the hell they want with them, which I'm sure that they will do a lot of evil shit with them because they are Brady and they hate your freedom. This should be a warning to everyone to what these anti-gun organizations are going to try to do. They are going to try to make their own registry. They're going to try to get all the information of gun owners. This is a war, people, and they hate our freedom, and they are going to try to take away our gun rights any way possible, including through intimidation. But we have to stand up to this. Now, what will happen with this information remains to be seen, but it's probably not good. We have seen several different newspapers get hands on firearms records. Lee Williams actually points out a newspaper called The Journal in Westchester that placed a map in their paper of where all the gun owners lived. That also happened in different parts of Virginia and other states. So this isn't something new. They are trying to intimidate us by saying, if you own a gun, we're going to post your address. We're going to post where you live. This is a scare tactic, and we just have to stand up to it and push back. There is other organizations working on this right now to try to do something to mitigate the damage to gun owners. I spoke to a couple this morning. I'm going to keep that on the download for right now. 
but there is things that can be done. And there are people working behind the scenes to protect gun owners. More will come out about that as it goes along. But just keep in mind that this is a long fight and we will fight back and we will win in the long run. This is definitely un-American. It is unconstitutional. And I believe that it shows you the dangers of 4473s and going through background checks at gun stores. If you needed another reason why background checks are a bad thing, here you go. Just remember in Red Dawn, a movie that I'm very, very fond of, when the guy said, go get the 4473s, that's exactly what Brady is doing. And with the Cuban guy in Red Dawn and Brady, they are both communists, so you have that. All right, guys, so I am going to link down below a wish list from Erica, CRS's wife, on things that the family needs. As we know, Matt is locked up behind bars and his family is suffering so we pushed erica into creating a list she didn't want to do it but we pushed her to do it so if you want to help out the family a little bit i will link the wish list down below and also check out lee williams article it is a really good article and i highly highly recommend it all right guys stay ever vigilant stay ever free keeping the fight i am out of here wolverine's mother